What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be going over all the Transcendence Heroes, just kind of like broken out, we've changed some values a bit based on what we've seen most people using and how they're performing in certain game modes, but this is kind of a good, uh, good list to go off of here for the overall power of each Transcendence Hero, now granted you might see Starwing Jar down the bottom, but she's by far not the weakest so to speak it just depends on what you have on your account that bumps her up or down the list um just to kind of talk about that first we always talk about it every time we're talking about transcendence heroes with starving jara if you don't have a Ruby scepter and you don't have like eight demon bells you really don't want to build jara as even like your third it, really you don't want to build jara until you have the Ruby scepter and the energy feed set up. Until you have that, she is bottom of the list in my opinion. And that's mainly because out of all the Transcendence heroes, she's by far the worst at all the new game modes for C lane 21 to 30. Um, she's just not used. Eloise is used. Whereas every other Transcendence hero is the key component pretty much for their high C lane clear. So let's go over the list. Number one, of course, you have a 10 out of 10 pretty much everywhere in the game is Sword Flash Shia. Now, when Holmes Young comes out later this month, then maybe something will get changed. But as it stands right now, she is undeniably the most important Transcendence hero to have on your team. She crushes Vortex. She crushes in Realmsgate. PvP, she's still one of the top teams with Drake pairing. Uh, boss fights, she has some of the most single target damage in the game. Tower Dreams, you're going to use the same Drake combo you use in Vortex. Everywhere, you're going to use Sword Flash. She does, of course, I, I mean, I would consider bumping Aspen Dungeon down to a 9, but... As your first Transcendence hero, she'll get you a, a seal or a death 100 pretty easily. Uh, and she is a Transcend for everybody. So she's like the only hero in this list that literally gets a 10 out of 10 for early game. First Transcendence hero building all the way to the very end late game. Number two on the list is Scarlet Queen Halora. Now, the only thing she really suffers is in boss fights. Her actual damage contribution is lower than the good majority of them, but she is needed in every one of them as a supporter, which is why we give her the support check mark. She's increasing everybody's all damage dealt by 20%. So normally she's going to be one of your quote unquote supports in your big PVE boss fights, like talking about uh, broken spaces, guild bosses, uh, even, you know, void arc bosses, things like that. She's very important. She actually does Aspen Dungeon very easily. And we haven't seen too many clears of her in 26 plus Sealand, but from 21 to 25, she is by far the easiest hero to get a Sealand 25, and she should be your second built hero behind your Sword Flash. She almost get full 10 out of 10s, but she does suffer a little bit in boss fights, which is why I put her just a little bit lower in the early and mid game. You should be building her second behind your sword flash now number three is when a lot of thing comes into consideration number one is how many copies of each hero you have uh what artifact you have like i said if if you have the correct artifacts jara is by far the best third transcendence hero to build even though she has the lowest scores as overall ratings and that's mainly because she does absolutely nothing in sealand you use eloise she's just not very useful typically you want to run her with energy feed situations even in pvp uh then again i mean if you're talking very late pvp you might be able to use her if you're using melodic strings on your other heroes like star devour eos and stuff but again really a vortex tool and a cc tool that is her main job she does pack a ton of damage uh but overall not that important a better safer bet for the average player is to build fairy queen vesta third she has the third best overall rating based on the points that we've given these heroes and she does very very well a very amazing in aspen dungeon if you haven't cleared it by the time you build her i wouldn't recommend building her first or second to be honest the first two should always be sword flash and queen uh but she is very good in sea lane 21 to 25 and 26 and 27 we've seen people almost get sea lane 28 done with that fairy queen vest as well she's a little bit less useful in vortex and realms gate although she is by far the most versatile hero in every single game mode uh, she puts those shields up is absolutely amazing she's part of the star expedition boss cheese methods which deal a ton of damage and is just a very very good hero overall 
after that, you have the next three heroes, Lord of Fear Aspen, Sun Devour Eos, and Asmodel the Dauntless. Now, in reality, you can build these in any order you really want to. Lord of Fear Aspen, of course, is going to be a great one to get you to see lane 25 and dark. But in reality, a regular Aspen can do it with the same exact team. So you, do you need a Transcendence Lord of Fear Aspen? No, you could get away with a regular Aspen. Granted, he's only there for that, whereas Lord of Fear Aspen... Has his nice fear ability on his basic attack. He's got a lot more utility to him. He synergizes pretty well with like a Starwing Jar style team that's going for heavy CC. But overall, he, he's just a really solid hero. Overall, you can tell by his, his score. He still gets a 10 out of 10. Uh, Sun Devour Eos. Now, the one complaint and really reason why I think she falls off on the list compared to Lord of Fear Aspen score-wise in the overall ranking is because... She's really not that great in Sealand 25 plus, 24, 25 plus. The answer to light Sealand is Asmodel the Dauntless, not Sun Devour Eos. Plus, Asmodel the Dauntless is a better householder because you can use him for the better transcendence heroes that you want. Sun Devour Eos, Eos, not as much. She really shines when you have like a melodic strings on her because she packs a huge, huge punch that is very good. Uh, overall, they can kind of be interchanged between these three. I There's really no, like, go-to answer of which one to build. It's more of a what checkbox do you want to clear off. Do you want to get Light Sea Land done? Probably go Asmodel the Dauntless over Sun Devour Eos. They both do very good big AoE damage. Um... I will say I've seen both of them do Aspen Dungeon very well. Asmodel the Dauntless I've seen do very, very easily in my history of Aspen Dungeon. Not like it's a big topic. By the time you're building one of these three down here, you should already have it cleared with the other heroes on this list because they are very good doing it. And I would not prioritize any of these three really over Fairy Queen Vesa just because of the versatility that she has. So overall, very good list. Uh, again, Jara coming in at the last. There's a one orange square on this entire tier list. And that has to do with Sealand because, yeah, even as a supporter in Sealand, she's just not that great. You're better off with Gustin's, with... Uh, with Annabelle's, Eloise, I mean, that's the type of team you want for Shadow Sealand, and it's not very easy because you just have a regular Eloise, so, you know, it kind of is what it is. Hopefully, this helps you guys out. Again, this is a pretty good list to go by, except an asterisk down here for Jara. If you have the artifacts, you go for the Jara number three, number four, whenever you get the three Rui Scepters, and the eight Demon Bells, that's the minimum setup to go for Starwing Jara. If you don't have that yet, or you're not going to have it for a while, put her at the bottom of the list. You build her when you have the artifacts to support her. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know what you guys think about this data-driven list. Again, we, we've done them in the past where we kind of put our own opinion, but this is kind of like the numbers part of it. Hopefully these calculations are still kind of serving as well, and I'll see you guys next time.